did Peter intro on his run this morning. I will say here, good afternoon. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. It is a day. It's just been a day today. And all of a sudden it's almost three o'clock. We plan on going to City Walk tonight, which is different for us. Definitely something that we loved when we lived here before, but we did not prioritize a lot when we visited over the past two years. So we're excited about that. Um, Teddy is down for a nap. I'm getting dinner ready. Um, and I am making my quick dumpling soup. Okay, today's recipe isn't as quick as usual because usually I use just like frozen veggies. It's pretty steamy, so I'll just say it. Um, I chopped up carrots, onions, tomatoes, zucchini, a yellow pepper for my veggies. You could really do whatever veggies you want. Um, and then luckily, I'm not a soy sauce. Luckily, our dumpling pack that I'm gonna be using in today's soup had a little thing of like dipping sauce, so I threw that in. Some garlic, some ginger, salt and pepper. So that's kind of the base. And today I'm doing a little something different that I saw on TikTok, and that is adding a, a jar of like curry simmer sauce to it, so it's more of like a curry dumpling soup. Um, so I'm excited. About to, tr to try that out. Did I say mushrooms? I also have mushrooms in there. Um, and speaking of, I took the other half of the pack of mushrooms and I'm prepping dinner for tomorrow. Look at me go. So this will sit in the fridge overnight. There is a little bit of olive oil, orange juice, and a whole bunch of spices. I chose cumin and paprika and uh, salt, pepper, garlic, onion powder, um, basically just to make yummy like meat mushroom meat for tacos or something of that nature tomorrow so that will sit in the fridge and soak up all the delicious flavors i will link the mushroom asada recipe i use often this is not following it but you kind of get the gist of it it's just mushrooms soaking in some citrus and yummy spices and that's just that's just the start of dinner tonight i'll um show as I go making this soup as well as a little salad I'm gonna go alongside it and I am getting used to like how I look like Florida Sarah um, like humid hair all of that good stuff you know sometimes we start vlogging when we're headed out to the park and we're all put together um, but sometimes our vlogs are gonna start at home it is still going to be our daily vlog or daily life it just kind of depends on when we can pick up the camera um, we've had a couple of people comment is this just going to be a disney vlog from now on and the thing is when we live in florida we go to disney a lot we go to theme parks a lot obviously tonight it's going to be city walk um but we are just more active and that allows for more vlogging in the evening when peter's done with work a little bit less pressure on me capturing moments throughout the day even though I love capturing moments throughout the day. It just depends on what we can manage. Um, like I said, it's kind of been a day. I've been a bit overwhelmed. We just haven't established a routine. <laughs> we joked about that so much before we left, but like that really did bring us a lot of peace getting into the routine. Um, and we're still just figuring out life here. It's different. And We've lived here before, but now with two kids, we're still unpacking. Um, we live in like a much different space than we ever have before. Um, so there's just like a lot of factors and I put a lot of pressure on myself, but I was able to go on a nice stroll with the boys and kind of collect and reevaluate my like goals for the day. And I just feel, I feel good when I cook. And so like getting dinner started, um, and even just like simply tidying up helped me. Um, so, I mean, that's my little two cents about taking care of yourself. I'd love in the comments below if you would share what helps you. I'm typically like, I need like a yummy beverage and to just like sit for a second and collect my thoughts to like make a new, like instead of being overwhelmed by everything I have to do, focus on what's ahead of me. like 
what's what has to be done right away um and that's me but i love hearing what like helps you guys so um comment below and i think you can obviously tell that i am in good spirits so that worked um what i did worked um however i do still have a bit that i have to get done before we head out for the evening and eat and all of that good stuff um so yeah i'll I'll, I'll get back to doing my thing. Hello, everybody. It's Friday Eve. I think Friday Eve is more exciting than Friday for me, especially for work. I had meetings all day from like 9 a.m. until 4.30. Um, I think it's more exciting because usually my Friday Eves are like the actual fun and Friday's full of people trying to like catch me before the weekend, clean up their inboxes, asking a bunch of stuff for me or my team. So Fridays are usually like not as fun until I get off work. And today's extra fun because we're going to City Walk tonight, right, sir? And my new phone came. This is the best part about new phones, new Apple products, is the packaging. They've made themselves a brand in itself for its packaging. This is the, the iPhone 14 Pro Max. <gasps> Fancy, I got deep purple, which I think is the same color as before. Actually, no, I got like a baby blue before. But hopefully what happens to my last phone does not happen to this phone. Because within owning, like the first, within the first four days of owning this phone, this happened. That's not fun. Was really that fast. Yeah, it was like the first week. So here's this: the case. I have a leather like Apple case arriving today as well. It just isn't here yet. So I'm gonna get this set up. And I, supposedly this camera is 48 megapixels. So booyah! Ooh. Here's our dinner cooking away i used like one and a half cartons of vegetable Yay. broth and then i added this curry sauce korma mild and creamy it's, it's very yummy i have yet to put the dumplings in but i like to do that towards the end because they cook pretty fast and i don't like them to get too soggy before we eat Alrighty, so i also threw in a heaping pile of spinach and then about 10 or 12 pork pot stickers frozen so they've been cooking away and then just gotta make sure they're cooked all the way through and the soup is done i did a little mix of things for this salad this was a chickpea salad from aldi it has like cranberries and things in it but then i chopped up a big cucumber added that as well as red wine vinegar some olive oil and everything bagel seasoning <laughs> So let's finish up the vlog. Big boo. An update to our scheduling program tonight. We are not getting universal annual passes tonight or voodoo donuts or going out. <laughs> all of which we were very much so looking forward to. But all of which we want to like really enjoy. But James not napping and still having some stuff in the back of our mind of like what we want to get done before this weekend or during the weekend just makes more sense to say. That's called responsibility. So Sarah's gonna have to vlog up and then I'm gonna get James's dresser that I started the other night done. And then uh, we'll see where the night goes after that. And it is responsible, but like we're also like getting used to living here again with kids. So it's not just you and I who are like, oh yeah, we can finish what we're gonna do late tonight. It's like, we have other priorities now. And our priority is still to bring them along and have so much fun. Thank you. But it just has to be a little bit more intentional. What is my least favorite thing about Florida homes? I, the thing I don't like about Florida homes are like the traditional like slats of blinds on like sliding doors. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're removing that from our living room and putting in this big old rod with our green. Yep. And we're actually gonna use them because they just kind of like in the middle in between our windows in Chicago, but they're, they're actually being like used. And yeah, these are gonna be actually functional to keep the sun out. We'll show you when it's done. I don't wanna show you now because you would see outside of our backyard and we don't wanna show you that. <laughs> so those are the blinds. Let's see what's behind curtain number one. Those are the blinds, much better than the slanty pieces of plastic that can break and just don't do a great job. Um, yeah, we had those before and Eve would just like, she's tiny and she would knock them down. Let alone the kids. Yeah. And then this, this oh, chandelier, we're definitely going to at least move. Like it's not going to stay here. 
A lot of people would choose to have their dining room table here, but we want like good access to the, the kids and the toys from the kitchen. Yeah. Um, so this doesn't make as much sense. Right. All right. So do a little mock, little mock layout. We're gonna do this living room here. We need a new TV to hang on the wall. Then we can anchor those when spacing is right and fill them. Coffee station area, coffee tea station area, dining area. So we got the table set up today. Sorry, all the lights are off. Um, I don't know, this is like a new thing Eve's been doing. It's kind of weird, but I like it. Another play area. And then like an entryway. So we got those two new ones that I put together. This is all gonna get shifted closer to the front door to have almost like an entryway area. And then it's like three, a couple, four sections. One, two, three, four. And then back there for the living area, five. Dance, jump, 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 jump. He's a crazy kid. If you're following us on Instagram, which I will put our handle here, um, you'll know I was going back and forth about getting this freshly picked like little diaper wipe bag and I went for it. Um, my friend gave me a coupon code. I guess like the key with freshly picked is that they have sales often. Um, I had some messages saying that the quality wasn't great, but somebody said that the difference was that the strap wasn't the leather because the strap gets more of like the wear and tear. It's nice that it's this material. I don't even know what this is like. It feels like a seatbelt. Um, so this is the bag I got. It has this little button, the front compartment, and then a zipper. I have barely anything in there. Um, but it arrived today. It can be like um, a cross bag like this, which I think will be nice to be like hands-free, easy to get stuff for the kids. And then it can also go around your waist. So, so far the quality looks great. No complaints. I'll let you know how it goes like as far as like wearing it around and actually using it goes. The next home project is to finish the dresser here. So that's what we're on to next. Ooh, here we go. There is a finished dresser. Technically, it's not finished because I don't want to be hammering because it's real late and the back panel is not on, but that's also the truth for the side table. So, matching set. Super cute. I feel like it goes with the vibe of the, the bed frame. I think I have to ask Sarah, but I think we're going to switch the bed to go this way. Side table, Chicago flag, dresser, bada bing, bada boom. All right, here's a better... Look, boom, dresser, lamp, window, bed, side table. So I think, uh, I forget if we're gonna do Chicago flag up there or Chicago flag up here. Mm, I wonder if the lamp's gonna go over there. It'd probably stay over there. Um, we just need to get Ray out with guards for the bed because James does travel a little bit while he sleeps. We've been using like a configuration of pillows in the wall. So now that there's two exposed walls. Uh, sides will have to figure that out until we get the rails. But that is, that's the Jamesy basic setup right there. Big old kid. All right, after consulting with the, with the designer and looking at the functionality of the room, that was a little too grown up of an orientation. We just need a little space to play. We need space to play. We need safety. And, and safety until we get that other guard rail. But this is better because now there's a little place for him to hang. The closet's actually massive, but I have stuff blocking it. We're gonna actually gonna put our old TV stand in the closet to house some toys, books, and fun. So that he could open this up and this is all like play space. Right? Yeah, no, that, I think I was, I wanted, I had visions of grandeur of having like the TP in here or the bookcase out and like this makes so much sense. Like now, when you've been thinking about something for so long and like you actually see it in place, I'm pumped for this. Like I'm, yeah. I, it feels like What's like the word? Feng shui. Complete. Like yeah. it feels. Yeah, right. no, I like this. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like a good use of the space. It looks like a little kid's room, and I love it. I mean, minus the queen bed, a little kid have a queen bed. But I also grew up going straight from a crib, me and my two siblings, mm -hmm. from a crib to a water bed, which is the same size as a queen bed. Right. So there's a little snippet of my weird history as a child. Dance it, dance it, dance it, dance it out. Say hey. Boom, boom. This kid's bop. Yeah, this kid's bop. Interesting. <laughs> oh, no way. Oh, no way. 
All right, I'm not ready to show you fully our car, our garage. We have, as I think I told you guys before, like a lot of um, Sarah's dad's tools and grandpa's tools. But in addition to that, we have like some stuff from Sarah's dad's days in State Farm and just some old like kind of cool stuff from back in the day. And I found a little voice recorder with a tape on there that looks like it's got stuff on it. I just need to find two AAA batteries and worst case nothing's on it. Awesome case is there's dad's voices on it from like when he used to be um, like a storm duty and also a fire um, like investigator for State Farm. Best case Sarah and her sisters are on this being little kids being goofy. So I'm gonna try to find some I don't think we have any AAA batteries. I'm gonna try to see if there's a remote or something that has it that I can just look at it real quick. Um, if not, we'll get some over the weekend, but I'm super excited to get the garage in shape. We've been putting like our, gar our cardboard boxes in there because we have to like get rid of those over a couple days. Um, and then, and also a priority is inside the home before we get like the garage and tools and everything set up, but I'm very excited to show you guys that, but I'm gonna try to find some batteries for this. I should also say it now because it's midnight. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.